Hey, good morning. I wanted to share the Oracle card that I pulled this morning as I was prepping for my day. Um, the card that I pulled was patience and I thought it had a really beautiful message. So I wanted to share it because I felt like the message was not just for me, but it was for everybody. So we have this beautiful angel and she's holding like a clock or watch there and around her is winter. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, but there's snow on the ground and winter time is usually when things stop growing. Um, it's cold, so activity slows down and it's like everything is kind of sleeping, right? That's like the hibernation season for life. I know when it comes winter time for me, I do very much go inward and start to like just do a lot of deep inner work during that time. It's not as much about me going out and being active and doing things. It's a very um, passive, like receptive time. And that's what I got from this card. Um, a lot of times we think patience means that we have to wait. And sometimes it means that we just need to be in a state of receiving because we can, you know, be doing so many things and trying all of these you know, different things. So we're missing what it is that we're actually supposed to get. So when I saw this, I was like, okay. Um, and I'll read you the message for the card as well. But I just thought that was really beautiful. And I love how she's holding. I'm sorry, I'm trying to like, I usually have my phone, but I'm doing this from my laptop. So it's like the camera is different. Um, and I love how she is holding time. Um, and you can kind of see like there's energy, stuff is happening around there. Um, but I like the fact that she's holding time because it's um, like you're in control. Like a lot of times when we think about patience, we think, you know, we have to wait for somebody else. We're not in control. We're just sitting there doing nothing. But in that state of patience, you can see like there is there are things taking place that we're not able to see, right? So you can kind of think that, you know, because like this is an angel, miracles are being worked in your favor, but you might be so busy trying to do stuff that you don't even see what's taking place behind the scenes. You're not noticing the little miracles, the little signposts along the way that do indicate, in fact, yeah, your things are shaping up for you. Just, you know, be patient. So what I liked about this is um, the meaning in the card was, um, of course, it's patience, but having a peaceful presence and letting go of desperation. So that's what I meant by like being in that state of allowance, that state of receptivity so that you can receive whatever it is that is meant for you. Um, and sometimes that's what patience is. It's just allowing. And a lot of times we don't allow because we're so busy um, trying to do all of the things and thinking like we have to take action. And sometimes there's seasons for actions and then there's also season for rest. There's seasons for learning. So there are different seasons and knowing where you are in that season can be so helpful for that state of allowance so that you're able to to go through the journey and get the things that you need out of it. So I'm gonna read the card. Um, excuse me. So it says, the card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. Her peace, her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax, let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think that there's only one solution to satisfy your needs or make you happy, you're blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, open, and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you are aware of. Quiet your mind broaden your perspective and let them come through. This reminds me of the hangman in the tarot, which is all about surrender and letting the spiritual messages, letting you know the guidance, letting the answer to your prayers come to you so that you can recognize it. And that's kind of what I feel here. So, you know, if it's that relationship, if it's, you know, something with work, a friend, whatever it is, it's time for you to be patient and open your mind and see all of the possibilities. Um, if you've been like trying to focus on just this one thing and it doesn't seem to be working, 
take some time, step back, center yourself in your heart. And see what else is there because there's something else, there's something greater. There's so many ways to get to point B. So you can, there, there's an unlimited amount of options for you to get what it is that you need in life. Um, so don't feel like it has to be this one way. Don't feel like if it's not like this, it's not going to be perfect because you can block your blessings. And so the way that it might be delivered might be a way that is foreign to you. It might not make sense to you, but that's the best way for it to get to you. And so because it doesn't make sense, you keep shutting it down and pushing it away. And we do that in relationships a lot of times too, right? The guy that may not be as tall as we would like, the guy that might not have the perfect smile or the perfect job or the perfect car or the perfect house, he might truly have a heart of gold, but because it's not coming to us in the package that we thought it would be in, we're like, mm, that can't be it. But sometimes we have to open our perspective. We have to try a new thing. We have to get still and, and see, clearly see and trust in the timing of things. So I hope that this message moved you. I know that it really did speak to me. So I wanted to share this with you on this Tuesday. Please share in the comments what this meant for you. If there's something that you've kind of been trying to force or you know trying to push this one way through, um, then let me know if this reading was helpful. I do offer private readings. Um, they're 30 minute readings. And I'm gonna actually be having some different types of readings available but right now they are 30 minute phone re readings for only fifty dollars so if you want to go a little bit deeper i've got a bunch of cards and we can go through and see what um what messages that there are for you so have a beautiful beautiful terrific tuesday um and i'll be posting the daily post in the group I love you and I thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a magnificent day. Bye.